from Advantage Performance Training. Today we're going to show you 12 different directions you can do for shoulder mobility and shoulder strength. For those of you who are pitchers, football players, throwing quarterbacks, um, swimmers, anything involving shoulder strength and shoulder mobility, these are 12 directions that would be good for you. Even before a shoulder day at the gym, best things you can do. First one we're going to do is going to be a shoulder extension. Stay nice and tall, arm straight, you're going to come down, arm straight, come past your hip. Next one we have is our D1 and D2 extension. You're going to make a diagonal across your body coming this way. You're going to make a diagonal across your body coming this way. We also have our tricep extensions. Connecting to the posterior shoulder. Once you get done with those, you can bring the band down. We're just using a broken band we have here in the gym. But you can do these all yourself. In a doorway at home, if you have a Thera band, you can put a little knot in it, throw it over the door, close the door, put it around the door handle for any of these different directions that we're doing. So here we're going to do our internal and external rotation. Here, elbow is going to stay tucked into the side. You're going to come across your body, back to 90 degrees right there. At your internal rotation, external, you're going to simply turn around. Elbow stays in the side once again, and we're going to come out just to that 90 degrees, maybe 100 degrees. That's your internal, external at 0, 90. Next one we have is 90, 90. So for this one, your internal rotation, you're going to have 90 degrees at your armpit, 90 degrees at your elbow. What you're going to do, just come forward. Take, think about taking this bone right here, your humerus, and you're just rotating it in the joint back and forward. So you're going to do that one. The same exact thing coming out, just to here. All of your external rotators here and here are going to be a little bit weaker than your internal rotator. So the nice thing about the band is you can always make it harder by stepping away, easier coming closer. Next ones we got are from the bottom. And we do our diagonals from our bottom, our D1 and D2 flexions. You're going to come up across your body this way, stand nice and tall. Up and diagonal across your body this way, nice and tall. Last direction we have is a simple bicep curl bicep connects to the anterior shoulder. Okay, so those are your 12 different directions. The last two you can do if you want to spice things up a little bit, you can put the TheraBand in your doorway, around the door handle on the other side, shut the door, wrap your hands around. First one's shoulder retraction, coming straight back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Second one is arm straight, extension, down past your hip. Those two are also good for the upper back. So for those of you looking for a little more shoulder mobility, shoulder strengthening exercises, give those a try.